Did it hurt? It has all these different things at once. I kept wishing you were there just because there's no way I'd be able to tell you. You could show me. Victory of Starfighters, my name is Carlin Jones, and this is a Starfighter movie review. Today, we're going to be looking at the 1997 independent drama, All Over Me. Today, this movie would be labeled as a LGBTQ film, but for me personally, I, I don't really identify films based on the demographic audience is trying to identify to. Meaning, I wouldn't call Boys in the Hood a black movie just because the movie is about black people. And I wouldn't necessarily call All Over Me a LGBTQ movie just because it's about a gay teenage girl. All Over Me is the perfect example of a really good film that just happens to be about a teenage girl who discovers she's attracted to women during the underground feminist punk movement in the late 90s New York. Regardless if the main protagonist is gay or not, the film itself is universal in its themes of friendship, love, and family. So with that said, let's get into the plot of this movie. The plot of this film is about a teenage girl by the name of Claudie who lives in Hell's Kitchen, New York, who wants to start a band with her best friend Ellen. However, her plans are subverted when she suspects Ellen's new boyfriend murdered her neighbor. Now I'm only going to be focusing on two characters. Now the first character I'm going to be talking about is the main protagonist, Claudie, who is played by the actress Alison Folan. Alison's performance in this film is very authentic, and that's due to the fact when filming this movie, Alison was the same age as the character she portrayed. Claudia's character in this movie goes through a lot of emotions. Alison Folan didn't do much research for getting into this character, mostly because she was already living it. Throughout the film, when you see Claudia is frustrated, scared, or even crying, you won't feel like you're watching an actress just acting on screen. It truly feels like you're the camera and you're watching this girl's life right in front of your eyes. Claudia is more like an actual person on a documentary rather than a character in a feature film. It's actually scary on how real Claudia's character is. And a lot of that is due to the acting of Alison Folan. The last character I'm gonna be talking about is Ellen, who is played by the actress Tara Subkoff. In this movie, Ellen really comes off as the teenager that's throwing her life away. When she begins to date her new boyfriend, Mark, the world of drugs and alcohol is open to her. And the only person who has a positive role in her life that can help her is her best friend, Claudie. Ellen is my favorite character in this movie because every word she speaks, every action she does, she is literally screaming out for help. In this film, her character will show you what will happen to a human being when they continue to have a negative influence in their life. Also, the on-screen chemistry she has with Claudie is fantastic. When you watch the film, there will be no doubt in your mind that they're best friends. Tara Subkoff, along with every other actor in this movie, put on a masterful performance. Now, there's not much to talk about in terms of production because there is so little known. However, what I can tell you is the director Alex Sickle initially tried to make this film as a documentary of the bands in New York during the underground feminist punk movement or Riot Girl 
to be short. With filming different bands and their lives off stage, Alex didn't really have a sense of direction for the documentary, not until she talked to her sister. Her sister Sylvia Sickle offered to write the script, which took three years. And once it was written, Alex received a grant from the Princess Grace Foundation and made the documentary into a feature length film. The movie opened in an international film festival in Berlin and was very well received. The actress Alison Fallen was even nominated a Independent Spirit Award for her acting and the film itself was nominated a Grand Jury Prize at the Sundance Film Festival. Ring Jinsi. Peter! All right, Starfighters, that was my Starfighter movie review. Uh, by the way, if any of you have seen a, um, uh, I don't really know how to describe this. Uh, if, if any of you have seen like a communicator uh, doohickey that goes on the collar of a shirt, please let me know. Um, I'm at Rylos right now and no one here uh, speaks English. So if you know where it is, or if you know where one is, uh, please comment below and let me know. Or if you just want to talk about this review, that's completely cool too. Immediately after situation report. Welcome to Starfighter Command. You speak English? Situation. No, you hear English thanks to your translator device. Hurry up. We haven't got much time. The briefing begins immediately. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Until then. Victory or Death Starfighters.